And a good Saturday morning to you. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, and 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Looking at uh, wet snow loading here, this is Essex, Vermont. And what you can see here is the kind of drooping effect of what wet snow loading is. And uh, we'll take a look at some of these... Uh, not every one of these is showing up with a little bit of wet snow loading. For example, in Jericho, they're getting some downsloping winds, just a little bit, and a little bit of a mix of rain. But most of the storm is in the process of winding down. This is a look at Bolton. We have Brandon here, and you can see that they're in the warmer air currently right now. This is a Derby Line. Snowing pretty good and some pretty good bursts, covering up the roads and whatnot. And take a look at the trees in the background there. You can see a little bit of wet snow loading along the border. And this here is looking at the Cabot Marshfield area, the webcam, uh, courtesy, of course, of uh, Agency of Transportation. And Weathering Heights, my location here. You can see some uh, drooping trees, but for the most part, pretty much uh, under levels that are producing power outages. And it looks like most of the storm now is shifting east into Maine, and uh, it is a thing of the past. And uh, we have downgraded the alert to a sub-alert. That's going to expire at 2 p.m. The next update will be a little bit after noon, and uh, this may be canceled even before that point in time. Is just one little last burst of snow, and this is very light snowfall, but it is adding a little bit of uh, weight to some of the trees and whatnot for snow loading. So we're still not 100% out of the woods here. The risks are just about done as that last little bit of business works on in. You can see it beginning to work in here. And that most of the heavier snows have now exited even parts of New Hampshire and into Maine. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights, thanks for watching.